Last month while working in a client's office, I came up with an idea for a quick little project. In the, the entrance hall to the company, they've got a, uh, a kind of a, a structure that's been built and it's designed for people to drop or the staff to kind of drop little plastic balls into three compartments. This is a way to measure staff engagement and staff morale, happiness, anything like that. So each week staff get given a little plastic ball and on their way out they just drop it into one of three holes. It's a kind of an anonymous, really simple, really kind of low tech way of measuring kind of staff engagement and staff happiness. It's the type of thing that uh, kind of company should be looking at and obviously looking for any declines or drops and dealing with it. And so the idea I had was to um, see if there's a way to augment and engage, uh, increase engagement with this, just try and add a little bit of, a little bit, something more interesting to it. It worked, but um, just trying to add something else. And so I came up with uh, this. It's a little kind of drop-in device. And um, this is a personal project, so I need for anything I came up with had to be um, a kind of drop-in, removable, no permanent changes. And so this is what I came up with. It's, uh, it's basically a light ring that sits in place. It sits kind of flush. All you see is this little kind of semi-transparent plastic ring at the top. And when you pass a tennis ball through, it triggers a light sequence. The device itself is made from a few kind of components. It's pretty straightforward though. I've got a 3D printed upper ring here. Uh, this is printed in semi-transparent plastic, so obviously the lights would shine through. And that was printed in two segments because of the, unfortunately there's a bit of an overhang on both sides. I think the, in reality, um, what I found out is this unit was actually quite high up, so you can't really see the top of this very well. So if I was to kind of do this project again, then what I'd have is a slightly raised thing here. So rather than just this slight chamfer here, it would go, uh, it would be a lot higher. So you'd be looking at the light through the side of this piece, but um, that's just a kind of a slight enhancement. On the back here, I've got glued a piece of uh, kind of downfall pipe, water downfall pipe, and that is uh, somewhere to mount the switch to kind of detect the ball passing through. The LEDs are little kind of RGB um, with integrated driver chips. Uh, you've got kind of eight of those run around and that's being run from a little kind of Arduino or the, the trinket board here. The, for this prototype, I'm using a battery pack and a little kind of power regulator. If this type of thing were to be installed, then this would be replaced with a kind of a straightforward kind of five volt power supply. The, at the moment, all it does is trigger the light. So the ball passes through, makes contact with a switch and the light sequence goes off. But uh, if this project were to be installed, if something like this were to be set up, then I think two possibilities would exist for this. You either have a, a counter which runs locally, adding up the data from all three devices. Um, this can then be displayed on a small kind of LCD screen, a hidden screen with a reset button. Alternatively, a better solution would be to use a, um, a kind of send it out to the, to the web to use um, probably one of these cheap network adapters. That would then, every time a ball passes through, it would send a request out to a server and it would log that. And so you'll have real time information then and there can be fed directly into reports. There's no kind of manual involvement really with it. It's kind of kept really simple. But for now, this is just a proof of concept to see how easy it would be to do something like this and if it would work really. And I've kind of proven that it's simple, effective, and it looks pretty good. So I'm quite pleased with this project.